Good morning, good evening, good afternoon in whichever time you're watching this. Welcome to SSC Presents Current Affairs Quiz in which we will be discussing 30 important questions related to the current affairs of 4th week of August 2022 in the which format so let us proceed we have total of 30 mcqs so i request you all to participate in the quiz and check your scores at the end after the end of uh, every question you will be given a 10 seconds timer in which you will need to write the correct answer in the comment box or in the chat box and then in the end do check your scores and how much do you score out of 30 so let us proceed the first question who has been appointed as the next high commissioner of india to uk is it Achilles Mishra? Is it Vikram Dorai Swami? Is it Manoj Kumar Bharti? Or is it Prasant PC? Your time begins now. The next High Commissioner of India to United Kingdom. Well, the time is over. The correct answer to this question is Vikram Dorai Swami. Dorai Swami, who was formerly the High Commissioner of India to Bangladesh, is now the High Commissioner of India to United Kingdom. The next High Commissioner of India to Bangladesh after Dorai Swami is Pranay Kumar Verma. Let us proceed to the first uh, next question. The next question. Which government will set up rural industrial parks in the state? Rural industrial parks. Is it Chhattisgarh? Is it Haryana? Is it Sikkim? Or is it Mizoram? Your time begins now. Which government will set up rural industrial parks in the state? Chhattisgarh, Haryana, Sikkim, Mizoram. Well, the time is over. The correct answer to this question is Chhattisgarh. Yes, Chhattisgarh government will be setting up uh, rural industrial parks in the state and in the first year of the project you will be 300 such parks so satishka was the correct answer let's proceed to the next question the next question very interesting one gautam adani led adani group will acquire a controlling stake of 55.18 percent in which of the following channels is it arts is it ztv is it z news or is it ndtv your time begins now 55.18% stake acquired by Gautam Adani, Adani Group, with TV channel. Well, I think I've written the correct answer. The correct answer to this question is NDTV. Yes, NDTV, whose full form is New Delhi Television, uh, has been acquired uh, by Adani as 55.18% stake has been uh, going to Adani Group. So, NDTV is the correct answer. I hope you have written it right. Let us proceed to the next question. The next question is, Vision Gym Port is located in which state? Vision Gym Port. Is it in Kerala? Is it in Tamil Nadu? Is it in Andhra Pradesh? Or is it in Karnataka? Your time begins now. Vision Gym Port is located in which state? Kerala, Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh or Karnataka? Well, the time is over. The correct answer to this question is Kerala. Yes, uh, Vision Gym Port, it is located in Kerala. Let's go to the next question. Artemis 1 is the moon mission of which country? Is it USA? Is it India? Is it China? Or is it Russia? Artemis 1 is the moon mission of which country? Well, the time is over. The correct answer to this question is USA. Yes, Artemis 1, which is officially uh, also known as Artemis 1, is a planned uncrewed moon orbitary mission, the first space flight in NASA's Artemis program. So, uh, NASA's mission, or you can say USA's mission, is the Artemis 1, the moon mission of USA. So, this was the correct answer. If you're on the PDF of this session, then how do you get it? Uh, there are pretty simple steps you need to follow first of all there is a link in the description to get this pdf you need to click on that link and when you click it a uh, kind of payment page will be uh, opened as you can see in the screen uh, and then in that payment page you need to pay rupees 30 via any payment method and in the third step after payment you need to wait for the pdf in the google drive link to open automatically and do not press the back button in that process and the fourth step is to save the pdf when it is opened in the google drive into your device else the pdf will be lost so in this way you can get the pdf of this session and if you want the pdf of all these sessions in which you will be getting all state national international current affairs it will cost you 400 what do you get in 400 you will be getting past 10 months second current affairs 
past six months national international current affairs second current affairs 175 mcqs past years sikkim gk solved that is previous 10 papers and all for the current affairs sessions and important topics pdf in telegram for the next six months all this you will be getting in rupees 400 and for that you need to send a message to the whatsapp number shown in the right side of the screen so this is it you can get the pdf of all the sessions like this so let us proceed to the next question the next question what is the name of series of online education games launched by union sports minister anurag thakur is it games quest is it Azadi Quest? Is it Freedom Quest? Or is it Savarkar Quest? Your time begins now. Series of online education games launched by Union Sports Minister. And who is he? Anurag Thakur. Games Quest, Azadi Quest, Freedom Quest, or Savarkar Quest. The time is over. The correct answer to this question is Azadi Quest. Yes, Azadi Quest is a series of online education games and it is based on India's freedom struggle developed in collaboration with the Zynga India, okay, which is a gaming company. So, Azadi Quest is the correct answer. Let us proceed to the next question. The next question is the 2022 Liberty Medal will be awarded to Ukrainian president. And what is the name of the president? I think you all know it, right? Is it Vladimir Putin? Is it Narendra Modi? Is it Volodymyr Zelensky? Is it Benjamin Netanyahu? Your time begins now. I'm wondering now that why did I put Narendra Modi in the option? The correct answer to this question is Volodymyr Zelensky. Yes, Volodymyr Zelensky, who is the Ukrainian president, uh, has got 2022 Liberty Medal. So this is it. The Liberty Medal was established in 1988. And then you can see the details in the PDF. Let us proceed to the next question. The next question is, former Vice President M. Venkaya Naidu released a book titled Which? That is a compilation of selected articles of former Union Minister Arun Zetli. So there's a book uh, which co consists of compilation of selected articles of former Union Minister Arun Zetli and released by former uh, Vice President. What is the name of the book? Is it Emerging India? Is it Swatantra Bharat? Is it New India? Or is it none of the above? Your time begins. Compilation of articles of Arun Zetli. Well, the time is over. The correct answer to this question is New India. Okay, New India is the uh, name of the book or the compilation of the selected articles of former Union Minister Arun Zetli who passed away. So, this is it. Let's go to the next question. So, next question. Amrita Hospital, Asia's biggest hospital, was unveiled by PM Modi in which place? Is it in Hyderabad? Is it in Faridabad? Is it in Ahmedabad? Or is it in Kalor? Your time begins now. Asia's biggest hospital. In which place? The name of the hospital is Amrita Hospital. The name is also important. The correct answer to this question is Faridabad, Haryana. Yes, uh, it's a 2600 bedded hospital named by Amrita Hospital and it is Asia's biggest hospital officially inaugurated by PM Modi in Faridabad, Haryana. Okay, so remember this place and remember the name of the hospital as well. In the next slide, you will be shown some important dates of the fourth week of August which may come in exam. So please have a look on the important dates of August. Important dates. You will get all this in the PDF. Let us proceed to the next question. The next question. India's men's volleyball team has won the bronze medal by defeating Korea by 3 to 2 in the 14th Asian Under-18 Championship. The question is which country hosted it? Which means which country hosted this 14th Asian Under-18 Volleyball Championship? Is it India? Is it Kazakhstan? Is it China? Or is it Iran? Your time begins now. So India has won the bronze medal and the question is which country hosted this tournament? The correct answer to this question is 
Iran. Yes, Iran has hosted this uh, 14th Asian Under-18 Volleyball Championship and India won the bronze medal. Then who won the gold medal? Uh, the gold medal has been uh, won by uh, Japan okay Japan has cleansed the gold medal after beating Iran in the final match which means Iran has won the silver medal India has won the bronze medal in the next slide you will be shown the name of some important persons who were in news in the fourth week of August 2022 so have a look persons in news Debasis Mohanty KV Subramanian S. Jaisankar R. K. Gupta Karim Benzema who is from France Alexia Potulis who is from Spain Malika Sarabhai daughter of Vikram Sarabhai Virat Kohli You get all this in the PDF let us proceed to the next question The next question who is the new chairman of DRDO which is Re Defense Research Development Organization succeeding G Satish Reddy so the new chairman of DRDO is it K Sivan is it Vinay Mohan Quatra is it Dr Samir V Kamat or is it V Anand Nageswaran your time begins now DRDO whose headquarter is at New Delhi which was established in 1968 and now who is the new chairman of Defense Research Development Organization the time is over the correct answer to this question is Dr. Samir Kamath yes Dr. Samir V. Kamath is the new chairman of DRDO and he has succeeded G. Satish Reddy okay so uh, who is uh, G. Satish Reddy he was the former chairman of DRDO and now he has been named as the scientific advisor to the defense minister so G. Satish Reddy is now the scientific advisor to the defense minister so this is it let's go to the next question who has won UNESCO Peace Prize 2022 UNESCO Peace Prize 2022 is it Volodymyr Zelensky is it Joe Biden is it Salman Rusty or is it Angela Merkel? Your time begins now. UNESCO Peace Prize 2022 can be asked in the exam. Who has won it? Well, the time is over. The correct answer to this question is D. Angela Merkel. Okay, Angela Merkel, who is a former German Chancellor, has been awarded 2022 UNESCO Peace Prize for what? For her efforts to welcome refugees okay the details will be there in the PDF so Angela Merkel is the correct answer let's proceed to the next question the next question Prime Minister to inaugurate pedestrian only or atoll bridge on Sabarmati River in which city so in which city the pedestrian only atoll bridge has been inaugurated by Prime Minister is it in Ahmedabad is it in Pune is it in Visakhapatnam or is it in Chennai? Your time begins now. Pedestrian only Atal Bridge. Ahmedabad, Pune, Visakhapatnam or Chennai. Well, the time is over. The correct answer to this question is Ahmedabad. So PM Modi will inaugurate pedestrian only Atal Bridge on Sabarmati River. Remember the name of the river as well. And it's in uh, Gujarat's Ahmedabad city okay so this is it let's proceed to the next question the next question which state got its second railway station after 100 years so second railway station is it second is it tripura is it meghalaya or is it nagaland your time begins now after quite a long gap one of the following states got the second railway station in 100 years which is it the time is over the correct answer to this question is Nagaland yes Nagaland uh, got its second railway station after a gap of more than 100 years uh, with the commissioning of new facility at Sokhuvi so Sokhuvi is the second railway station of Nagaland okay and before this uh, there is there was only one railway station which was Dimapur okay and it was inaugurated in 1903 so the details you can see in the PDF in the next slide let us discuss some important miscellaneous news 
so the first news is that indian navy has received first ever fully indigenous ak630 gun ammunition this is the first ever 100% indigenous 30mm hg gun ammunition for the services has been produced by ms economic explosive limited which is in nagpur satyanarayan noel who is the cmd of solar group he handed over the first consignment of the ammunition to the vice chief of naval staff who is vice admiral sn gorman so this was it let's go to the next news the next news is satvik saraj rani kiretti and chirag setty claim india's first men's double medal at world championship so in the badminton world championship which was held in tokyo japan satvi sairaj rankiretty and chirag setty they both claimed india's first men's double medal at the world championship so this is it you will get the details in the pdf so let us proceed to the next question uh, there is one more news uh, sports ministry to organize meet the champion initiative in 26 schools on occasion of national sports day which happened to be on 29th of august so uh, meet the champion initiative the more details you will get in the pdf now let us go to the next question the next question who is the new president of all india football federation aiff is it kalyan chobe is it bhai chung bhutia is it sunil chetri or is it none of the above your time begins now the new president of all india football federation only two candidates uh, had applied for the candidature for the iff presidency and the correct answer to this question is kalyan chobe as i was saying kalyan chobe and bhai chung bhutia were the only contesting candidates in this iff presidency and kalyan chobe has won Uh, and become the president of all india football federation defeating bhai chung bhutia Uh, more details you will get it in the pdf let us proceed to the next question which country is the host of 2022 asia cup okay 2022 asia cup it's a cricket tournament uh, who, which country is hosting for this year is it india is it uae is it sri lanka or is it bangladesh your time begins now asia cup 2022 host the cricket tournament india uae sri lanka or bangladesh well the time is over the correct answer to this question is uae so uae will be uh, is hosting 2022 asia cup before this sri lanka was about to host but due to the ongoing economic crisis in the sri lanka the uh, host country has been shifted from sri lanka to uae and the sri lanka uh, uae is hosting this 2022 Asia Cup and uh, remember one more thing that team India's interim head coach for this Asia Cup is VVS Lakshman the more details you will be getting in the pdf in the next slide you will be shown some important places in news which were in news for the august 4th week 2022 so let us see which places were in news so have a look places in news punjab Arunachal Pradesh Rajasthan Madhya Pradesh Chhattisgarh Kerala Uttar Pradesh Uttar Pradesh again Telangana New Delhi Bengaluru Bengaluru again Maharashtra Delhi Haridwar Himachal Pradesh Gujarat Delhi Uttar Pradesh 
Kerala and now we have countries in news Singapore Egypt Portugal Scotland Europe Iran Sweden Tanzania South Korea Indonesia You got all this in the PDF now let us proceed to the next question the next question who has won Luzan Diamond League title 2022 Luzan Diamond League title it's a athletic tournament uh, 2022 who has won it is it Neeraj Chopra is it PV Sindhu is it Mirabai Chanu or is it Avinash Sable your time begins now I think you all can get guess it through the image itself. The correct answer to this question is Neeraj Chopra. I forget to uh, hide this image, but then it's okay. Okay, Neeraj Chopra has won Luzan Diamond Lake 2022. So this is it. Olympic champ, uh, champion javelin thrower uh, Neeraj Chopra. He scripted history as he became the first Indian to clinch a Diamond Lake meeting title okay so uh, this is it let us proceed to the next question the next question is who has been appointed as the interim president at indian olympic association the first ever olympian to head ioa is it avinav bindra is it ravi dahia is it adil sumariwala or is it narinder batra your time begins now the interim president of indian olympic association the first olympian to head this The correct answer to this question is Adil Sumariwala. Okay, Adil Sumariwala, he has been uh, appointed as the interim president of Indian Olympic Association. Adil Sumariwala, he is also the president of Athletic Federation of India. Okay, I hope you have got it right. Let us proceed to the next question. The next question is What is the name of world number one settler who cleansed his second Badminton World Federation World Championship title? after beating thailand's can live with his son in tokyo so what is the name of uh, the settler who has won uh, the title of bwf world championship is it parupalli kasyap is it samir verma is it victor axelson or is it none of the above your time begins now world number one settler settler means badminton player Parupalli, Samir, Victor, or none of the above. Your time is over. The correct answer to this question is Victor Axelson. Okay, Victor Axelson, who is a Danish player from Denmark. He's a badminton player and he has cleansed his second Badminton World Federation World Championship title after beating Kunlavut Vitishan in Tokyo. Kunlavut Vitishan is from Thailand. Okay, the this was men's single and women's single title has been retained by uh, Akane Yamaguchi, who is from Japan. Okay, so this is it. Let's proceed to the next question. The next question is who overtook New Zealand's Martin Guptil to become the leading run scorer in men's T20 internationals? Is it Rohit Sharma? Is it Sikhar Dhawan? Is it Virat Kohli? Or is it Surya Kumar Yadav? Your time begins now. The leading run scorer in men's T20 international Rohit Sikhar Virat or Surya Kumar. Well, the time is over. The correct answer to this question is Rohit Sarma. So Rohit Sarma, he overtook New Zealand's Martin Guptil to become the leading run scorer in men's T20 international. More details in the PDF. Let us proceed through the next question. The next question is which state government has launched Mukhyamantri Udyami Khiladi Unnayat Yojana? Is it Nagaland? Is it Assam? Is it Manipur? Or is it Uttarakhand government? Your time begins now. Mukhyamantri Udyami Khiladi Unnayat Yojana. Nagaland, Assam, Manipur or Uttarakhand. 
the time is over the correct answer to this question is uttarakhand okay uttarakhand chief minister who is pushkar singh dhami he has launched a scheme to promote upcoming sports person in the state on the occasion of national sports day 29th of august and the name of the uh, yojana or the scheme is mukhyamantri uddi uh, udyaman khiladi unnayan yojana okay mukhyamantri udyaman khiladi unnayan yojana so this is it a monthly scholarship of rupees 1500 will be given to the birding sports person so let's proceed to the next question who won 2022 belgian formula one grand prix title is it max verstappen is it lewis hamilton is it sergio perez or is it charles leclerc your time begins now please don't try to search in the image given it's not given there okay max verstappen lewis hamilton sergio perez or charles leclerc the time is over the correct answer to this question is max verstappen who is from netherland he has won 2022 belgian f1 grand prix title and not only this title he has won spanish miami emilia romagna saudi arabian azerbaijan canadian french hungarian monaco all these grand prix, uh, grand prix in 2022 he belongs to the team red bull and he belongs to netherlands okay it's his home country you can see other list uh, other people in this list so let us proceed to the next question you will get this in the pdf the next question a new book named india's economy from nehru to modi a brief history has been written by whom of the following is it amit shah is it avijit chawda is it amarti sen or is it pulapre balakrishnan your time begins now india's economy from nehru to modi who has written it well the time is over the correct answer to this question is pulapre balakrishnan okay pulapre balakrishnan is the author of this book so this is it let's proceed to the next question the next question is sumang leela festival is organized in which state sumang leela festival okay a lot of questions are asked in exam from festivals uh, so this festival is organized in manipur sikkim chatisgarh or jammu and kashmir your time begins now sumang leela festival well the time is over the correct answer to this question is manipur yes sumang leela festival is organized in manipur so in the next slide you will be shown the name of some important festivals and which state they belong to so have a look at the slide so important festivals this in the pdf the next question which temple will replace cambodia's 12th century built angkor wat complex as the world's largest religious structure is it mayapur temple in west bengal is it sri venkateshwara temple in andhra pradesh is it kedarnath in uttarakhand or is it none of the above your time begins now world's largest religious structure which temple in india it will replace angkor wat complex of cambodia well the time is over the correct answer to this question is mayapur temple in west bengal okay so this will be inaugurated in 2024 and then it will be replacing uh, as the world's largest religious structure uh, which will uh, surpass the angkor wat complex of cambodia okay. it is even bigger than the taj mahal and saint paul's cathedral in vatican so this is it okay mayapur temple west bengal next 
What is the name of the economist, a former planning commission member and one of the country's foremost experts on rural economy who recently passed away? What is the name of uh, the economist? Is it Cyrus Mystery? Is it Abhijit Sen? Is it Abdul Ghaffar Nadiarwala? Or is it Sayed Siptez Razi? Your time begins now. All the people given in these options are important obituaries only. Economist, former planning commission member and country's former expert on rural economy. The time is over. The correct answer to this question is Abhijit Sen. Okay, he was an economist and he recently passed away. So this is it. Let's proceed to the next question. I hope you have written the correct answer. The next question. Bangladesh-born Fahmida Azim has won Pulitzer Prize Award 2022 under which category? Is it breaking news photography? Is it commentary? Is it illustrated reporting and commentary? Or is it editorial writing? Your time begins now. Fahamida Azim. She has won Pulitzer Award 2022 under which category? Well, the time is over. The correct answer to this question is illustrated reporting and commentary. Okay. So this is it. Let's go to the next question. The next question is James Webb Telescope has recently captured new images of which planet? Is it Mars, Jupiter, Saturn or Venus? Your time begins now. James Webb Space Telescope, the telescope which belongs to NASA and it is the largest telescope of the world. It has recently captured new images of which planet? The time is over. The correct answer to this question is Jupiter. Okay. So the image of Jupiter, which is the largest planet in the solar system, have been captured by NASA's newest James Webb Space Telescope, showing the planet in the new avatar. The details will be given in the PDF. Let us proceed to the next question. The next question, which airport will be named after Sahid Bhagat Singh? Is it Chandigarh Airport, Pakyong Airport, Mumbai Airport or Delhi Airport? I think we have already discussed this question in previous week. The correct answer to this question is Chandigarh Airport. Okay, we have already discussed this. And the next question, what is India's rank in medal tally at 15th International Olympiad? This is also we have discussed. Okay, these two questions got repeated this week. It's third rank. Now, uh, we have completed all uh, the questions. Uh, the two marks of the last two questions are bonus for you. So, please write in the comment box, what is your score out of 30? Now, we go to few homework questions, which you need to do. Okay, homework questions. Please write the answers in the comment box. And also, the answers you will be getting in the PDF. So, the first question is what is the name of the website launched to boost the coastal cleaning up campaign okay options are given in the screen the next question is as per the bloomberg billionaire index which indian has become the world's third richest person in the world options in the screen which telecom company has announced the rollout of 5g services by diwali in the october 2022 so options are given in the screen right in the comment box Sain leader Muktaba al Sadr belongs to which country? Okay, Sia leader Muktaba al Sadr belongs to which country? And Colin de Grand Home, who recently announced retirement, is related to which sport? Option are given. And then Mikhail Gorbakev, who passed away at 91, belongs to which country? So, and the last question Who has been conferred with the Lifetime Achievement Award at the 67th Film Fair Awards. Okay, options are given. Please write the answers in the comment box and you will get the answers in the PDF as well. So, all these questions, uh, some of these we will be discussing in the next week's session as well. So, let us proceed. Uh, okay, one more question is there. As per NCRB report, which city has been announced as the safest city in India? So, now, oh my god, there's one more question. Which Indian state has inaugurated Rajiv Gandhi Rural Olympic? games i think this is the last one so all these are the homework questions now we have few bonus questions to discuss 22 bonus questions uh, the answers will also be given so please have a look at these questions the first question
so with this we complete all the bonus questions as well so how do you get the pdf of this session uh, you need to click on the link which is given in the description box pay rupees 30 via any payment method and then after payment you need to wait for the pdf in the google drive link to open which will open automatically and during that process do not wait, uh, press the back button and then you need to save the pdf in your device okay which will be open in the drive else the pdf will be lost and this way you can get the pdf of uh, this session and if you want the pdf of all the sessions which will include uh, past 10 months Sikkim Current Affairs, past 6 months National International Current Affairs, Sikkim Current Affairs 175 plus MCQs, past years Sikkim GK solved and all for the current affairs sessions and important topics PDF in Telegram for the next 6 months then you need to pay rupees 400 and you will get all this and for that you need to send a message to the WhatsApp number given in the right side of the screen. So this was it. I hope you liked the session. Thank you so much. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to SSC Sikkim. Bye-bye. See you in the next video.